Hey guys, this is MA Fish Guy doing a video request on the Fire Track Eel. Now these guys were really popular a couple years ago. They kind of faded into popularity, but they're slowly starting to come back. Uh, price on these guys in the U.S. is usually around $12.99 to $15.99. Uh, that's usually at about six to eight inches, and they get about 38 to 40 inches. Uh, now a lot, a lot of the times this isn't actually achieved uh, in the actual achieved yeah achieved in the uh, aquarium just because a lot of people can't provide the diet that they need and the tank size that they need. Uh, so that's one thing you want to keep in mind when you're getting one of these guys. They do like to burrow. You're not going to see them a whole lot. You're only going to see their head poking out of the gravel or sand. And they are more of a nocturnal to a dusk type of fish. Uh, now they're from Southeast Asia, uh, so they have quite a bit of a distance to come to the U.S. Uh, so usually when you get them, um, you want to make adequate care that there's an established tank ready for them. Uh, you're not going through any cycling processes or anything like that. Uh, and these guys usually only really eat the live food. Uh, they don't really take in a whole lot of commercial grade food, uh, pellets, anything like that. So you want to stick to kind of like uh, like a feeder guppy, brine shrimp, live. Uh, if you can do the ghost shrimp, cherry shrimp, whatever shrimp you have, uh, small crayfish even they'll pick off. Those are some things you definitely want to keep in mind when it comes to the requirements of these guys. All right, so these guys aren't the type of fish you can just throw into a tank. They do need a um, soft to medium uh, hard water. They don't can't take the hard water. It needs to be like a soft to a medium uh, water on these guys. Uh, also, you want a well-covered tank, well-planted tank, and you want to keep these guys in multiples uh, or just one at a time. If you do keep them in trios or pairs, they can become aggressive towards each other. So you do want to keep them in groups, so usually six to eight. If you can, if not, it's best just to keep one at a time. And these guys are nice because they kind of stir things up in the gravel, so that way nothing bad is lingering in the aquarium gravel. Uh, but if you do do one of these guys, I do recommend doing sand or finely crushed gravel. Uh, that way they don't get any damage done to them while they're digging into the tank, gravel or anything like that. Uh, and that way it doesn't lead to secondary fungus infections. Another thing with these guys is you want a neutral to slightly alkaline water uh, for these guys and the temperature to be around 73 to 82 degrees. Uh, you don't want it to get a lot colder than that and they don't like super warm water either. Uh, so again, another tip if you want to see these guys uh, feed, do like a nighttime light or just a couple moonlight LEDs on top or red light uh, and it will kind of help them come out. It might take a couple of days for them to actually do it, but they will eventually. Uh, so again, well-covered tank, finely crushed gravel or sand. Uh, these guys are a little bit more sensitive for the water quality. Uh, and like I said, they're a little bit harder to find right now because they were popular a couple of years ago, uh, but they are coming back in popularity right now. As for breeding, uh, no known documented breeding that I've seen on these guys. Uh, so you'll kind of be on your own for that. But they are a real rewarding pet. Uh, they're also kind of closely looking to the tire track eel, which is a little bit less expensive just because of the coloration of the red that's lacked on those. Uh, whereas the fire track eels or fire eels uh, are real pretty to have a nice red to them as long as they're taken care of correctly. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns on the fire eel, please post it down below in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them for you. If you have any requests on any fish you want me to do, uh, just post that down below too and I will work right on it. Thank you.